Welcome to this week's Reflections on Lent, Grief, and Hope. A reading from the Gospel of John. Now among those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and said to him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly, I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life will lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honor. Now my soul is troubled, and what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? No, it is for this reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it and said it was thunder. Others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, this voice has come for your sake, not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to indicate the kind of death he was to die. In this time of Lent, I feel a bit lonely and sad. And of course, with my dad dying two weeks ago, I feel a bit more vulnerable than normal. In the scripture today, Jesus and indeed God provide us with a vision of hope. God shares in a thunderous voice that he will glorify his name and he will glorify it again in the future. And Jesus shares that out of a single grain of wheat that dies in the earth, much fruit springs forth. I find these hope-filled scriptures helpful right now. The hope of much fruit and glorification in the future is just what I need. The wilderness of 40 days and 40 nights will end. And though we know the horror of Good Friday, the promise of Easter is within sight. God and Jesus in this passage promise us the abundance of fruit and that all of us will be drawn to the bosom of Christ. As an exercise this week, I want each of us to pull forth a dark thought or memory. Let your mind ingest what troubles you for a few moments. And then, as in the passage, know that Jesus will drive out the ruler of this world. All that the devil steals from us will be driven out. Imagine Jesus taking all of what is challenging in our lives off of our shoulders and drawing us to himself. No more anxiety, no more depression, no more pain. I will take my grief this week and link it immediately to this vision of hope. I will envision the pain of Christ on the cross, but even more so, I will see the hope of the resurrection. For just as the hope of the newborn Jesus sustains us through Advent, 
the hope of a risen Christ sustains us through this period of Lent. May the joy of what is to come sustain me through my grief and sustain you through any challenge that this life presents. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into t temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. For our song this week, I chose One Day More from Les Miserables. It is filled with life and death, courage and fear, hope and sadness, not unlike this contemplative time of Lent when we prepare ourselves for Jesus's triumphant entrance into Jerusalem, only to be followed by our Holy Week with the crucifixion and the resurrection. Enjoy. <laughs> 